Welcome back to CrossUp, welcome back to the test server. The stuff that a lot of you guys are anticipating so much is finally here on the PR test server, the test server where a lot of us content creators have access and where we can showcase some of the upcoming stuff, which we are all very excited to see for CrossUp. This patch will launch on Thursday with a lot of goodies. And the most exciting thing here is the Doomsday Cars Battle Pass. I've got the chance here to look at all of the stuff here that you will get with the battle pass and there is so much stuff that we want to talk about here already just you know quickly staring at the legendary cabins there which will be the main thing here first of all there are new weapons new paints new decor items new um What's it called? New parts, new structural parts. And I want to start out just quickly by just let's just get one thing straight here. This battle pass is free for everyone to get. You will see some items here that has a lock onto it. These can be unlocked if you buy the actual battle pass from the store. Now I do not expect there we go. Battle pass. Battle pass will be $9.99 once again, which is good to see. Elite battle pass for $35 once more, which will give you the first parts plus 15 levels. So this battle pass, it's free for everyone. Just to make one thing 100% straight, you're not missing out on anything if you don't buy it. I see a lot of people calling this a cash grab and I think it's very wrong. I have one user on my channel who said that it was like, you know, denying people water unless you wanted to pay for it and you would have to, you know, I don't know, make water yourself or whatever. But this is not like only given water to the people who are willing to pay for it everyone gets the water here some people are just you know lazy and don't want to work in order to get it they don't want to go and actually get the water themselves they want the water delivered to them well in order to get so you actually have to pay someone to do it which is just what you do here if you don't pay for it you can craft your own pyrolets if you pay for it you can get your own pyrolets just by leveling up and leveling up like everyone else so everyone has the same chances to get all of the stuff the only thing that you cannot get if you don't pay is the appearances here and you can still get those you just have to sell some stuff get some coins and get these that's the only difference but decor items paint they never made any difference they won't give you any sort of competitive advantage that out of the way though let's get started with looking at the stuff here so the pyrolid the weapon for buttoning fire starter it helps both to get in conflict with friends and get out of it there are two rockets in each salvo so pretty much just like the um just like the uh, wasp and the locust but this is a special variant of it which is super cool then we got all of these new uh, portraits and banner backgrounds and banner logos and stuff this is Sutter, the first guy that we will encounter he brings a lot of new structure parts here all of these parts look really dope and i'm assuming that since these are hot rod parts Yep, they are decently light right there, which is very cool. Then we have this dagger here called the Hangman. And this is another decor which is super heavy. We actually seen that on the loading screen, which looks really, really cool. And then Call of the Flame. That looks a bit like, I think, maybe a darker, dark chrome paint. Not 100% sure. And also just letting you guys know all of the stuff that you see here is not final. That's important to remember. It's not final, so this might be changed before release. These are the firebrands, which are also some new decal. We actually saw these in the dev block and some extra new structure parts here. That looks like an 8x2, isn't it? 2, 4, 6, 8. Yes, it is. And only 135 kilograms heavy. So that's actually... Oh my god, that's like a lightweight heavy um, or lightweight uh, APC panel. That's super dope. And then these. These has been asked for for so long. These are actually some parts that we've seen on bots for a long time, or at least some that look like it. But looks like they are finally here. Passive melee damage full on the damage there. So we're going to get a lot of new, like, hatchets and, and wing blades, which is super cool. And then the flare and the new bumper right there looks very cool too. Aura, hot rod pot, more pots, even more pots, and even more pots. So we get two bumpers. That's dope. And... Sticker, burning torch sticker, which is right now the wash. So I'm assuming that this might change before the final patch. There we go. Chimney pipe, also very, very cool. A deco, you get four of those, so plenty of those to go around. And here it is, the Griffin Light Cabin. The first cabin of the bunch that I know a lot of you guys have actually really really been speculating about so let's see when activated the player and the three closest allies are invisible on the radar and become immune to the effects of Oculus and Verifier for some duration, which we don't really know yet. Oh my god, so this can actually counter Oculus and Verifier, so you can sneak in with this super, super dope. I'd imagine this will be so good with, for example, a Breaker Cabin if you want to play with that. 
and then we have the tachyon here uh, the second guy that will be coming so as we can see from level 25 and up this actually takes the theme of dawn's children instead so each 25 levels are probably categorized or 23 levels here are probably categorized for each of the um each of the factions which is super dope screener new bomber here also looks very dope might actually be good for melees it has like a nice nice shape here looks super cool and the gravistar which is one of the new weapons Let's see when the weapon overheats the first projectile heats parts on it the shotgun also becomes heated this effect is reset after each shot so you can actually keep firing this even when it's overheated and then once it's heated the weapon will take more damage but you will also heat the enemy so kind of a trade-off there excited to see how that will work Ooh, super dope exhaust module here it's very nice some more parts that aren't finalized yet so they don't really have any textures or anything more banner customization and these melee weapons passive melee weapons so again the full damage a bit like the blade wing nice really really nice shape here that looks very very handy indeed and more bumbers so how many of the, these bumbers do we get a total of four my god we are getting a lot of parts here i really like that though i think it's so cool and new dawn and new paint which also looks very good and Again, sticker has to be updated, not final yet. Very important to note. And small assembly section. Let's see. That's a four by two part. Ooh. That is a very cool headlight. Really excited to see that. And what is this? More C case. Nice Nova medium cabin. Also looking very good. And then on to Sigurd, the last of the dudes. Left military truck fender, and these will probably be more structural parts than also looks super cool. No background, and here's the second crane arm loader appearance. I don't know if these can actually move or if they just passively move when we put them onto the builds. Also, lots of new. Oh, this is actually like a two split bumper. That's really cool. Look at that. So that's a bumper that is consistent of two parts, and there is the new weapon of the world, which is the new, like, heavier whirlwinds, basically. If there are two or more enemies within a 65 meter radius, damage dealt by the cannon will increase by 30%. Nice. And let's see, we get more of these truck fenders here, and another logo. Small armored carrier panel. Let's see, 292, and that is a 4x2 really really great and large armored carrier panel so this will be another four by two which is also lighter than an apc part but has a little less connection points though but still looking very good and then the usual coins and stuff right flail so all of them are getting passive melee weapons that is actually also really really cool supercharger more appearance more appearance more bumpers more small armored carrier parts and large and another ck here also looking very good that is a wheel for let's see the apc wheel all right we actually didn't see what the other is wheel ck was for there we go this one is for the luna wheels so you can actually oh that's i think that's going to be nice for a lot of people like that you can actually get a proper tire on the luna wheels instead of just that metallic look which i i'm personally not really a fan of we also have this paint right here looks very dope and i think that's getting to an end here left grilled lamp also that right now and the cohort heavy cabin and another hologram so some of the parts are a bit like what we've seen in the previous battle passes but with some new styling but a lot of new decor and a lot of new structural parts which is really really dope in my opinion i am very much excited for this but yeah you can buy the battle pass here as per usual 9.99 or 34.99 which is basically it and then finally, we also have a new garage, which I will be covering in a new video or in another video. Let me see. There it is. The new engineer garage. And the load screen here. Also that, as you can see, some of the parts that we've just seen. Super dope. But we'll take a drive in the new garage and try to cover all of the things in the garage here on a later, at a later time. So we can, you know, have a look at, it, at everything. Sort of just go into details with all the stuff that is in this garage right here and i think that's pretty much about it the sad thing is we don't have the actual parts on the account yet so we can't test them we can't test them yet but we'll be able to do so very soon let me just double check the exhibition here maybe we'll be lucky actually haha you see that we can actually play around with them oh so that's a triple shot weapon 
as well as the perk oh my god okay so we will actually so there will be plenty of content coming trust me trust me there'll be plenty of content coming kind of an awkward steering on this build but looks very dope so let's see so you can't actually tap fire this but it overheats and if you let it overheat as you can see there you go it will start heating so plenty of testing to be done here and also the new cricket or the new uh launcher here which i now completely forgot what it's called is that a new sound as well yep it indeed is it sounds very good and the new perk here also pretty cool so that's sort of sort of a jammer of some sort and then oh nice one and the perk, which was... What was the perk? We forgot to look. On activation, gives the cabin 30% damage reductions for 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. And this one is then another one. 25 second cooldown, as far as I have heard. If there are allies in the line of sight who have fewer than three active drones at this point... Wait. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. So this one is what it says. If you have allies in line of sight, then you'll launch up to three drones, which will then gain uh, give resistance to your allies. If your allies are light, they will get 10%, medium 20 and heavy 30. And I don't know if it was light and medium for 10% for the final version. Not 100% sure about that, but this is super dope. Really, really excited to see this. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one's coming where we will take a look at all of the rest of the stuff. Bye-bye.